this is what we're going to do. It's a little bit of like, you know, shenanigans, but it is what it is. I told you we can't watch it on the stream because they're going to sue me and take all my cars and all my and houses. And I feel all right. And I don't want to lose Welcome that. to the handsome chat. And, and you don't want me to lose all my houses and my cars. So that's why we're going to post this uh, link that you can just press on it. And you're going to watch it from home. And I'm going to watch it from my home. And I'm going to be commenting to you. And here we go. It's going to be fun. Uh, Philly Boy, subscribe one. Thank you very much, Philly Boy. Philly Boy. All right. I'm going to press on the same link. Are we starting this? Wait, that's a video game, is it? Oh, it's not a video game. <laughs> I thought it was... <laughs> For a second, I thought it was <laughs> one of these things. Hey, you want to watch this match? Yeah, I'm so pumped for it. You press it, it's like the video game version of it. <laughs> it's the worst. It's like back when YouTube started, and it says like, oh, if you want to watch this song, press here. You press it, and it's the same thing. The, it was a song. It was a very famous song. Um, that every time it was just playing, and the guy was just like making fun of it. Oh, but what was that song? Son of a gun. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, I don't know what song was that. But anyways, let's go back to the video. Are y'all watching the video? Who takes watch. the challenge? Oh, I'm the first challenger. Are y'all watching the video? Because I'm watching the video. Oh, Hype Train, share. Whoop, whoop. Whoop de whoop, whoop de whoop, whoop. Choo choo. Uh, all right, you guys watching? Because I started watching. Can you all hear the sound? Is the sound legal, Dylon? Should I turn off the sound? What did I say? Who's, who said a bad word? Няма да споделям екран. Това ти казвам, че трябва да си пуснете. Uh, link it right on it. Oh, the R word. Well, the R word will be said during this match. Okay, maybe a little sound. All right, I'm playing it. I just, I just, my music just hit. I'm coming up. Oh, I'm walking. Oh, I'm walking strong. I have Bulgarian. Is that summer? Oh, that is summer. Oh, those are my summer days. My summer days. Uh oh, big promo. Wait a minute. You know, actually, I did think that. I think I did very great for the United States Championship, to be honest. Like, and I said, I'm going to be pausing back and forth because uh, we're not just going to keep going because otherwise we're going to finish. And I did think I did more for the United States title than in, in people in a, in a very, very long time. In years, because the before that, who had it like Sheamus? But Sheamus has had every single title, you know, uh, no big deal. There was nothing much done to it. And then I think Moxley had it before that with the Shield, but that was just like lost in translation. So I think um, I think I did for that title a lot. Uh, I think it was gone and forgotten. And I think we well, not just me, but especially later with Cena. Obviously, I think that title. Uh, was so so important, and I think we had more heat at that time than than the current champion, and and everything was thrown at the current champion, everything. You know, he had the J and J, he had the main and J, he had the 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 this and the that, he had every single thing. Uh, I, I'm talking about the first year. I'm getting I'm, whatever. But my point is, uh, I think the United States title. I think we had me and Lana had more heat back when we had the title. I think me we may had more heat than uh, Rollins did with J and J to be honest, and it was and ours was so simple. Nobody it was not like the big segment. It was not the main events. It was not uh, it was not the extra. We didn't need uh, Triple H. We didn't need the Authority. We didn't need Stephanie. We didn't need none of that. And I'm not saying I should have been the main event by any means. I'm just saying the situation between the difference of a heat. Ours was the smallest title, but our heat was so high compared to. And, you know, and that's why they're trying to kind of figure it out. But let's keep watching. 
So when I say that I was the greatest United States champion, that's what I actually thought. Because a, a lot of the things you gotta just draw from real emotion. And I, at the time, maybe I did feel that I was the greatest United States champion. And at some point, my pitch was, I wanted to be the greatest United States champion. I wanted to have that title for years, for like two years or whatever it is. And I feel like we could have done that, but you know. And I know it's a lot to ask for, but it was not like I was asking for the main event spot every night. I was asking for a chance to create history through a title that nobody gives a shit about. But it is what it is. Look at my physique, though. Look at my physique. So, oh, this is before my ankle injury, I think. Yeah, so, it, you know, it's very weird when you start first, in, you know, FCW, NXT, and all that. You work out, you train, you sleep in your own bed every day, and it's, and it's completely different. But once you're on the road, and you've noticed most of, most of the people, well, except like freaking Tony and all these freaking other guys, right? Most of the people, when they first get on the road, they always gain weight. It's because you're trying to figure out now you sleep three hours a night and you travel, you know, you you travel five days or six days a week and, and you eat at Waffle House instead of your home-cooked meals and and you feel like, you know, you're not training uh, six hours a day anymore at the PC or three hours a day and then you hit the gym and all that. You don't do any of that. Um, so getting out of shape is really, really easy to do. blonde headed you know sometimes sometimes funny things come out of my mouth and sometimes it's a lot of times it's meant for that but a lot of times when i'm angry and i'm trying actually to express myself uh words get lost in translation and meaning in translation in my head but maybe i should read some of this chat before we keep watching because i keep talking but then i keep watching i should bring this up hold on don't type anything let me figure this thing out you have just subscribed and i feel all right welcome to the handsome chatters i'm trying to figure this thing out to make it easier for me okay we'll put this thing here so i can watch this i can watch that okay here we go all right let's go back a little bit no i'm not gonna go back if you had typed something really important in the next in the past 10 minutes let me know because i haven't read anything i was just talking about myself uh, yeah, I did call him a French American. That is true. I did call the KO a French American. But once again, I meant to say French Canadian. <laughs> and I think in my anger at the moment, I called him a French you American. You have just subscribed, and I feel all right. Which is okay. Welcome to the handsome chatters. I think he came to me in the airport and he said, you call me French American or something. And I was like, what? I didn't even know I called him that. Um, call me proud. Uh, who made my gear? Uh, call me proud. I mean, me, you know, that Shivachki uh, Kuitu Prat. He asks, no, me chose to put it in Kuitu Poshnach. Tam tia mi praviš, tički kašti. Uh, it gotta be hard eating healthy. Well, it, it's hard and it's not. It all depends. Eating healthy on the road because there's so many places that they offer, you know, food that you can, you know, that it's a yes or no. If you want to eat clean, you can find a place to eat clean. But if you don't want to, you can find an excuse not to eat clean. The Sham 55 subscribe. Thank you very much, buddy. Uh, Goober Booty 59. I don't know if that's a bad word, but booty, it's a booty 59. Thank you very much for the subscription. Um, uh, let's keep going. Were you upset when you found out you were... No, they were losing to Cena. Absolutely not. I knew I was losing to Cena. I knew I was going to lose to Cena before I even started wrestling. And I feel all right. <laughs> Welcome to the Handsome Chatters. Super no. I'll give it one sub. Thank you very much. No, I knew I was going to lose to Cena. I was brought on the main roster to lose to Cena. So... No, I'm not mad at all. That man made my thing. People, they're so mad that he beat me. And yeah, we did great. You know, uh, as a character, we did so good. We could have done so much better. But it was it was the time that they decided, you know, that it was time to go. I mean, we were lucky even to have uh, Lana in the in the character because it was a it was a really uh, it was a balanced thing because Vince didn't want to 
in uh, with me at all in the beginning. We had to fight for that. Triple H fought for it too. And I feel like he paid off. Because me by myself would have not have been the same uh, than me and Lana. Not at all. I think it's way short-lived. Rusev without Lana was, is going to be way short-lived. I wasn't ready with promos. I wasn't ready with, with you know, just ability, confidence to talk on the mic, especially in the serious promos. Like, because at the end of the PC, I was just, you know, because I knew I had my shtick with the, um, with the, uh, with the sheik, with the Iron Sheik stuff, and I had that down to a T. And I could have made that room laugh with without even trying to, uh, you know, without even trying to. I was just, I just know, I knew my shtick, but I wasn't, I was not gonna do that on the road. Uh, when you first start in WWE, do you get a say in your intro music? Uh, Triple H came to me. He played the two versions. I don't even remember what the other one sound, but as soon as I heard that, it was 1,000% go. And it was like, we went by the ring, and he played it. He's like, you like it? I, I just loved it. I just loved every single beat, every single thing of that music. It's My music is by far my favorite. Um... Are you friends with CM Punk? No, no, I'm not friends with CM Punk. I've, I've never met that guy that many times. Oh, I guess I caught up. All right, let's keep watching. Well, good for me. Maybe it's taking too long. Maybe I'm talking too much. See, you gotta know. I haven't even said anything about USA. All I said is about Lana and they start chanting USA. She's not even, she wasn't even American. Well, I don't know why you keep watching the match without me even watching it, but y'all can do whatever you want. So I don't even know how we came about this spot. Like, I don't know what happened before that. I don't know what happened. Why did we put it in that situation? But I think it was the open challenge, right? Cena was doing the open challenge. Uh, I, Paulie, what's up, man? I'm still in the beginning. I'm still in the Owens entrance. That's why I keep telling you. I keep pausing. And I, keep, I say I keep pausing. I'm not just going to, because I thought we were going to talk about the match as it goes. I'm still, Owens just came out. That's where I'm at. <laughs> right? But I did come out first. It's an open challenge. It makes sense. Oh, I had boots too. That's after my ankle injury. But wait a minute. Who is it going to be? Who is it going to be? My broad, broad shoulders. <laughs> it's the greatest professional wrestler ever in the history of history. Look at Tony, man. Tony is such a man. Tony is such a man. He just comes out, do business, goes back to his business. I love Tony. He can do every single thing. Including wearing a towel over his head. Also, Tony's really tall. Oh, Cena just stepped out. I guess big three way. Right? God, 
Gosh, I don't remember that match at all. I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't remember anything at all. I don't know what to tell you. I know. I think at the end, I think I know what happened at the end. And I know about the story about that. But I'll say that when we get there. Oh, classic. Classic, let's beat up the ba the good guy, you know. Oh, I think we did the triple uh, German, didn't we? I think that was my idea. I think. I'm not even sure. What? Don't hit me. Oh, that's uh, over a dozen Hall of Famers. Oh, that's uh, Tony time. Or maybe not. Oh, wait a minute. Tony's so strong. Tony's so strong. A show of strength right now, right, right there. I tip my cap to the WWE superstars that have stepped up to the challenge because they're bringing the best out of me for sure. How about Cesaro stepping up to the plate in the last couple of weeks? I love having three way matches, though. They're so much fun. You have just subscribed. It's so and much I fun. Feel right. Welcome to the Handsome Chatters. Uh, wait, something happened. Uh, Wild, Mr. Wild, thank you very much for the subscription, bro. I appreciate you. Oh, no, what am I doing? A little tumbo. A little tumbo. You know, at one time, well, no, was it? I don't even remember. Yeah, I did that tumbo, uh, what was the first time? I think in Mania. And then they tried to take it away from me because Owens was doing it. Oh, this is going to be the lawnmower uh, deal. All these names, all these maneuvers have so many names. Ooh, still Divas cold. And that doesn't stop with Seth Rollins, the self-proclaimed future. This ring is full with unbelievable talent, unbelievable strength. Unbelievable yeah, Tony was a rugby player when he first started, right? And he used to ride along with his car. He used to ride with a with a rugby car, with the rugby ball. Yeah, I'm very thick here. I'm probably 300. Or 295, probably something like that. I gotta be there. I was working out a lot, though. It's just my food was the enemy. <laughs> but it was not like I was eating, I was just eating more than I should. I wasn't eating, like, I don't eat sweets, I don't eat stuff like that. You have just subscribed, and I feel all right. Welcome to the Handsome Chatters. Ooh, that's all men move right there. That's all lower back. Carrying like a baby, you know? Actually, I forgot I did that move. I got to do it again. I think I did it to Cena first at, at WrestleMania when we worked. That was the first time I did it. And Cena is a big boy, too. He's like 250. Probably, probably more. Well, not anymore, because now he's at the Hollywood cuts. A little bit of a control. But yeah, so that's why I love the three-way matches, you know, the triple threat matches, because it's just a lot of action. It's, uh, there's not downtime. There's no, like, rest time. It's all go, 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 go. And it's, and especially when it's a great workers, like, you know, Tony and, 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 um, and Owens. Three men for a at the United States Championship. Unbelievable. Rusev is going up to the top rope. Kevin 
Because in the three-way, a lot of things can go bad, too. There's just too many moving stuff. So three-ways can be really pain in the ass, or they can really be real fun. Nah, no way I'm taking that. No way I'm taking that. Oh, look at me going from the second. <laughs> I didn't have time to go on top. That was a good spot. The one thing I never minded was bumping. Bumping was always easy for me because I was trained by Samoans. Look at me from the second. <laughs> wow. Wow, that explosion in the feet. That explosion, that core strength, a huge core with a lot of strength in it. Oh, I'm at 11.10. We just did a big triple. That's what I said. You all should watch with me instead of Joe watching by yourselves because that ruins the whole thing. I'm at 11 minutes and 15 seconds. All right, keep going. You keep going. It's a good match, man. It's really, it's really high paced. Oh, that's a good spot. That's a good. He he was he was gonna freaking kill me from on top. Big DDT. Watch that safe, though. Not today. No, no, no. Cover. Cover. Uh, he's just exhausted, man. I've been beating up. I just took that super megaplex, and then on top, Tony was trying to kill me. My back is hurting. It's not that easy. I'm saying now cover, cover, but it's not that easy. And the worst thing is, you know, you're trying to have this match, which is like 15, 20 minutes, whatever it is. It's balls to the wall. And then after that, I got to have another match with, uh, with Cena. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, of course, I volunteer to take the bigger bump. I love that spot. I think it was my call, too. And, of course, I gave it to Tony. Because it's got to make sense. It's got to make sense. I mean, I would have loved to have given that suplex, but it, that's Tony deal, man. I would never take that opportunity from Tony. It's not like... It's just... It's, it's, it's Claudio. He... It's going to be a lot more impressive him doing it than me doing it. And we all know that Kevin is not going to do that. Not a, neither me or Tony are going to allow him to do that. Oh, I think this is where they. I think they said that. Uh, yeah, that's what happened. So they were saying that we we had like extra eight minutes or five minutes or whatever. We were really short. So uh, Tony decided to jump on us. <laughs> Because you know you have time that you got to keep and all that. And uh, and they said that we have X amount of time more. So we needed to do some more stuff. So Tony decided to jump on us. And yeah. It was a good momentum for Tony with the, the cross body and the thing. Oh, he lands right on my face here. I got so mad. He lands right on my freaking face. 
I got so hot. Right in my nose. Oh, I have. I told you, this is the greatest professional wrestler. I don't have a lot of respect. I have all the respect for him. All right, it's time to finish that. The kick of the spine. Arn Anderson gave me that. Like before that, it was just the accolade, just the the the, the maneuver, right? But Arn being Arn, and he's such a great heel, you know. And he was like, man, you know, kid. You know, the ultimate disrespect is that kick in the back. That's what does the damage before. You know, because if you're actually thinking, like if you put my, my heel into your lower back and your spine and kick it as hard as I can, this is not, this is a really shitty move. And uh, Arn gave me that. And I mean, Arn is the best. Oh, Alabama Slammer. Yeah, after the foot injury, forget that barefoot stuff. See, see the nose. Oh, watch, the, watch Tony here. From squatted position, that man picked me up like a baby. Sometimes you just got to show pain like this. You have just subscribed you know? and I feel all right. Welcome to the handsome chatters. I took all the crazy bumps thinking about this now. But good for me. I told you I love bumping. You have just but subscribed Tony's so strong. and I feel all right. Welcome to the handsome chatters. Uh, Cyprino giving out a subscription and then a lot of O's and L's and a C and an O. <laughs> Thank you very much for the subscription, bud. The people have the upper hand, Cole. Look at Summer. They haven't even showed Summer. There's so many, so much matches going on that they haven't even. I just noticed Summer, and that's a good thing. Because this means there was no time in the ring, there's no breaks, no those just going. And at the same time, there's stories, you know. That you, as you can see, there's not just a bunch of maneuvers for, for the sake of just maneuvers. It's, everything's got to make sense. Oh, the foot injury. Okay, I'll pause this. I'm at 1755. I'm pausing for a second. The foot injury, so I worked right back in a SmackDown taping. And, um, oh, taping. Yeah, that's what it was. I did work uh, right back. And he called, uh, he wanted to take a backdrop. And, you know, I'm not, whatever I say, I'm not blaming right back for anything. That's just, it is what it is. Shit happened. Um, so he wanted to take a backdrop. And I was like, well, cool. If you want to, if you're dying to take a backdrop, we'll figure it out. Right. And, and it was something, we were in a hole, whatever it was. And he said backdrop and he went and hit the ropes. And I was like, okay, he's coming back for a backdrop. And then he never came back. You have he hooked the ropes. And I feel all right. Welcome to the handsome chatters. Peter Sloth, thank you very much for subscription. He just hooked the ropes and he stayed there. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go probably take something. He's going to kick, kick me. I'm going to go back to the middle. He's going to come back and I'm going to give him the thing, the backdrop. But no, I just went and charged him. And he decides to give me a backdrop on the outside of the ropes, outside of the ring, you know, from inside to the outside. Now, I've never taken this maneuver before. And uh, even though I was like, okay, but I was still in control. I knew where I was going, so I land flat on my feet. But then I am 300 pounds and I'm barefooted. So I think it was my right ankle. Yeah, I think it was my right. It just, just, just goes like this. And I hear every single thing pops in there. Pops, locks, unhooks, hooks. Every single thing in my ankle was not a thing anymore. And I was like, oh, man, that freaking hurt. But I was like, oh, but you know, you have the adrenaline. 
so you don't care much. I throw right back back in. No, first I give him, I think, steps or something. Then I was like, all right, I want to feel, okay, it feels good. So I throw right back back in the ring. And I go in after him. And I go to stand up. And my foot is just not there. Every time I step, it just turns. Like, involuntarily, just stepping, it turns. I was like, what the hell is going on? Like, I can't, I can't control my foot. Like, it's just not doing what I want him to do. And uh, ref was like, "Yo, no, we're not stopping." I'm like, "No, we're not gonna stop this." So I'm grabbing a hold. I'm trying to figure it out. And then I think I did not want to stop the match by any means. I think I went something like I got myself disqualified. I was like, "No, no, no!" I'm gonna give him like three posts, and then the referee was gonna give me a warning. So I was like, "Boom, boom!" Like went super vicious on him. And you know, you don't follow the rules, you get disqualified. Uh, but yeah, I did not let that match stop, even though I could barely walk. But if I'm lying, then maybe I'm thinking of a different story. But I think that's the story. Uh, you can tell us what what was there any storylines you were going to be in, but never happened. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't care about these things. Let's keep watching the match. Owens out. Look at those traps. I was so tired at this point. I was so tired. I remember now. Because you can see me. Like, I'm not throwing a fit. I'm not going after him. I am so exhausted. I am so exhausted. Oh, he's got a title shot on Sunday. Oh, okay, that's the story. Oh, we went to commercial there. Oh, yeah, after a big three-way, let's have a singles match first with Tony before we get to another singles match with... with uh... Oh, I remember. I'm, I'm pausing this. 1855, I'm pausing because I remember the other match that I'm talking about. There was a match, a four-way match in Nashville, Tennessee. I remember it now because I had just... Hurt my ankle, and I came back, and I wasn't even sure if I was gonna get cleared. But it happened to be in Nashville, and uh, and like, okay, you're clear, cleared. I'm like, oh, okay, so I can go back to like, you know, like starting little by little. And they threw me in a four way the same night. I remember that. I remember that it was me. I think it was again. Uh, I think it was maybe Balor, maybe it was Cesaro, and maybe it was Owens again. I think that's what it was. Um, yeah, I believe that's what it was. Anyways, let's keep watching the match. 1855, starting again. Big knee to the mix session. There it is, the mega European. The mega European. Big comeback for Tony. That means more bumps for me. Oh, no. Tony's comeback was no no bumps. Just running. You can hear that. that that's not slapping the leg, by the way. That's, that's my meaty chest making that sound. That's not slapping anything. Just meat on meat. Oh, this is this is badass. Tony, just look at him. Tony, the strongest man in the history of history. Oh, I remember what's going to happen. So, so uh, you know, he's uh, I'm at uh, 2026. Right, right. That's what happened. The thermal Mac. That's what happened. You're right. Um, but what was oh, see, what's going to happen now? We're at 2026 in the match. So Tony wanted to give me that thing, 
but I don't know. It was just like I was gonna go, so I wanted to give him a suplex on uh, the apron. My thought was I'm gonna give Tony Claudio a suplex on the apron because the apron hurts a lot. Look what happens. You have just subscribed and I feel alright. <laughs> Welcome to the handsome chatters. Look what happens. So I wanted to land on the apron as well. But little do you know, I am picking up Tony. And as as and I'm losing my balance. So I know. Like I picked him up this way. I should have picked him more this way. So as soon as I went. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't, like, I had to put him on the apron. And he held on. I was going to put him on the apron as well. But I knew that I had to, somebody had to fall hard. And, of course, I wanted to do that myself. And then Tony was mad because he's like, well, why don't you, why don't you give me the suplex on the floor? And I'm like, Tony, you're absolutely crazy. I'm tired, man. I'm, I'm hurt. That suplex really took a lot. All right. I already posted the clip. I posted the... the um, I don't know why you keep saying that. Well, maybe because you just joined. But anyways, I posted a, a link that y'all can go ahead and watch because I can't show it just on here. You watch it at home and I'm watching it with me and I'm on the 21st and the... 34th second, watching the match, and we're commenting about it. That's all we're doing. It's not that hard. Here we go. I made the 2136. Oh, see what happens? You take too long. Take too long, you pay the price. I wanted to test if I can do that, but I definitely couldn't. I didn't want to fall. Not another one. Not another one. How many super plexes can I take? Well, I was almost falling there, too. Oh, of course. Oh, not today, Tony. Not today, Tony. Oh, no. What? Oh, that was a good combination there. The people were losing their mind because this looks like definitely the finish. Is it the finish? It's not the finish. I know who won. My first time ever they went on the top rope was against Sinai Mania. I know I had the headbutt. Oh, watch this. Speaking of power, speaking of power, oh, what? Speaking of power, though, see that? Pick them up like a little child, like a sack of potatoes. But it's good for Tony because I think that was his idea. I would never try to ruin his maneuver by any means, but I think that was his idea. But also made himself so light, too. Uh oh. Tony's sharp shooters are a lethal. Ooh, big spin kick. I got the spin kick. I'm pausing the 2354. Uh, big spin kick is. Uh, no, that's Umaga. I got this from Umaga. I, as you know, if you don't know, I love Umaga. I think Umaga was one of the greatest uh, workers. And uh, just seeing his ability to maneuver and to move like a. Like a cruiserweight, and that's why it was always impressive. And I wanted to do a spin kick, it's because of him. I had to fight for the spin kick too, because Breeze was it was Breeze's finish, but I was doing it as well. And I told him, I'm sorry, but this is an impressive maneuver for me, and I'm not going to change that. Uh, 2356, let's keep going. Oh, I got this from uh, RVD. <laughs> 
There was a period of this summer that I was just doing it. Twenty four twenty now. Big accolade. Tony with the block because Tony is strong. Head but not my hair. Let go of my hair, Tone. Let go of my hair, Tone. Uh Tony's shot oh no, this is the spin. I never minded the swing. It's such fun. It's so much fun. And the sharp the Tony sharpshooters are well, I haven't been putting many sharpshooters in my life. But Tony sharpshooters are sharp shooters of pain right up your ass and up your spine and you can't breathe and it's freaking the worst maneuver i have ever taken the worst maneuver i have ever taken was tony's and it's not like he's doing it just because he's so tall and of course he's gonna fucking freaking sorry he's not gonna just put a you shenanigan just move described on you. and Wait i minute. feel all right Welcome to the handsome chatters. You know, he's not going to put any kind of shenanigan move on you. When he puts that thing, boy, that's in. And uh, and, it, and it's hard, man. If you got to stay there for a long time, <laughs> no wonder people tap fast. Um, the only other stiff submission was somebody else. But that's a different story. And maybe I'm just not flexible either. Maybe that doesn't help my situation either. Look at that crowd on the, the whole match, just on their feet. Oh, three way. Oh, three way. Well, see? The mind. Like Robocop. When they were shooting him, all the police, you know how he was just sliding out. Yes, stiff means hurt. Sorry. Tony with a headbutt dart situation. Head to head combat. Oh, that was really accidental. Or around. Yeah, good luck with that. I'm not getting up. Oh, they're not going to show the match after. Oh, that's terrible. I thought they'll show the match after. Anyways, the match after it's, uh, oh, we got rated. We got hosted. Hosted our asses. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the host.